ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to another Brick in the Mall. I certainly hope you're having a wonderful day, because I'm certainly excited to be back here at the mall, where things are going pretty darn well indeed. It is the beginning of day 224. We are currently sitting on 1 million... $14,285. If we have a little bit of a look at our revenue, you can see we once spiked all the way up to $45,485 before it came crashing back down. Yesterday, we made $37,555. So things are going well for them all. But today, well, today it's going to be time to expand a little bit so we're gonna go to foundations and we're gonna start here and we are gonna go all the way down like this to about that point and it's gonna be a 93 by 20 stretch of construction that's a lot of money that's a lot of money but we're gonna do it so 93 by 20 and that is gonna be built we are gonna do the same down here we are going to go across by 93 and down by 20, and we're going to build that as well. Once that construction's done, we're going to start putting in some space for some new shops. We are going to have some new entrances to the mall over here as well, which is hopefully going to do some amazing stuff. It also means I can get rid of uh, this entrance here. And I'd also like to fill in some of the space that we have around here as well. So if we were to have a little look at this, we can see that... This space will cost us 100000 to fill up, and that's actually okay, so we are going to do that. And this space will likely also cost us about 100000 to fill up as well, so we'll get that filled up just there. So that's going to be room for some new shops, and what I'm thinking I'm going to do is I'm going to move some shops. I'm going to move the watering hole, which is here, I think, and the vineyard into some of these bigger spaces. I'd also like to um, possibly go ahead and merge the appliance shop into this space, possibly, or frilly things into this space over here so we have one bigger store for that shop. Alternatively, we could move this tools shop and we could move the camera shop and we could have a larger space for uh, whatever this is called. What, what was Suburban? No, what was it? What was the name of this? I've completely forgotten the name of this uh, store. It's one of the stores that people complain about. Uh, it is Rural Outfitters is what it was. It was Rural Outfitters. Uh, so people are complaining about that. We are going to want to do some stuff about that. So we'll do that very shortly. Uh, let's go ahead and remove that wall just there. So that uh, when this construction's done, it is going to be possible to move through that entire space without too much trouble. And I have to say, that is some of the biggest construction we have done thus far. But it's kind of exciting. It's exciting to be getting on with this. And by the way, uh, whilst we're waiting for this construction to be done, if you're watching this video on the day that it goes out, which is the 3rd of May, 2017. It's the 3rd of May already. Good Lord. Uh, number one, hope you're having a wonderful Wednesday. And number two, earlier today, there was a special video went up. It was the entirety of of Scanner Somber, which, I mean, it's an, it's an hour and 42-ish minutes long, but that game's particularly interesting. It was a very different type of uh, Let's Play for me, but I would appreciate it if you haven't already. Go give that video a shot. You might enjoy it. I want to get some feedback on that, because that's something I'd maybe like to toy around with a little bit more. Not necessarily horror games, but... Uh, Slightly more atmospheric let's plays. I think that could be a fun thing to do. Anyway, let's see what we're going to do with an entrance here for the mall. Uh, I don't really know where to put one. Not entirely certain. Uh, I think what I'll do is get some walls and go one, two, three, four, five, six, and then a wall there. Possibly, actually, no, go seven and then a wall there. So that'll be fine. Uh, so we want to go seven from the bottom as well. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and wall there. Then if we go to objects, we go to double doors. I want to get a double door there and there. And I want to do the same up here with a double door in that spot and that spot. 
So we'll get those in, and that's going to be a way for people to go into the mall from those uh, upper sections, which I think is going to be a really, really good thing to do. Now, we do still have a lot of complaints uh, from our various stores. Mobbles is consistently full, which is a major issue. Uh, the watering hole, full. McDillon's, full. Mobbles, full. Rural Outfitters, full. Uh, restaurant complaints because McDillon's is full. The nerd phone store has full queues. There aren't so many complaints about squalor anymore, which is a very good thing. The place is a bit cleaner. And I've also gone ahead and uh, expanded the number of stock clerks that work in mobbles because it was getting to a point where the majority of the shelves here were not stocked up at all. Now, a lot of them still aren't. Uh, but we do maintain stock a little bit better these days than we have before. Uh, it's also super nice to see people actually coming through here. Which makes me want to go ahead and say that we will remove the doors just there. And uh, we can also remove the walls just there and the doors there as well. Because soon enough people are going to be able to come through here to uh, get to where they want to go. Which is going to be absolutely beautiful. I'm actually surprised that this has been built as quick as it has. I really did think it would take a bit longer, but honestly, it's really, really nice to see uh, this whole thing getting done. Like we've got, we've got the shape of the mold that I was going for. I wanted the arms going around. I wanted them to surround the uh, the roads we had going in here. This is pretty much spot on for uh, for what I wanted from this whole thing. So it is really, really nice to uh, see it actually coming together. So let's go ahead and build ourselves a wall just there. And build ourselves a wall just there as well. Now what that's going to do is give my janitors a bit more work because people are going to have to go out and around here to get out. So this space up here could get quite filthy. I'm hoping that that doesn't uh, become the case, but it could very well happen. So we shall see. Uh, these staff doors down here, I'm thinking I'm going to keep them because I think they'll be quite useful. In fact, what I'm thinking I'll also do is go to objects and throw a couple more staff doors uh, at the opposite end there so people can get through there a little bit easier too. So hopefully that'll do some good stuff for us. Uh, we could get some staff doors here as well. We could get like a storage area back here. Maybe that's what this giant space will be. That is definitely an option, and it's actually something I've seen in one of the saves. I'll actually show you. I'm not going to load the save, but there's uh, the stress test right here. Is a save file that's in the game by default. And it's basically a giant mole that pretty much at any one time during the day has 2,000 customers, and it's doing quite well. Everybody's quite happy. And what I noticed with that was that most of the shops, if not all of them, had their storage area in one location and it was always quite far away, which was it. Well, not always far away, but it was it was what, just a couple of giant storage rooms for the entire mall. It was it was interesting. It was uh, very, very interesting indeed. So that's something I might look into. Anyway, I think it's time that we uh, perhaps get on a little bit with some more construction. Now, I do think I will go ahead and throw some staff doors just there and there as well. Even if we don't put storage spaces in there, these are this is probably just going to be a giant shop and this will be a shop as well. So having those staff doors at the back means that, you know, if we had... If we were to maybe convert some of this into one big storage space, which I won't do because it is, you know, the, uh, the main way through the mall, but... I mean, we could get rid of one of the cinema screens. That's always an option. Get rid of this one, turn it into a storage space. Uh, that is that is something I'm considering, shall we say. I'm, I'm, I'm considering it. Uh, I'll tell you what we'll do. Let's go to foundations and see how expensive it would be to do this. So 60, 68,400. That's not bad. Let's do that and turn this into a giant shop. Let's turn this into a storage area. Let's have a giant storage area there and see what happens. So if we go to uh, walls, we're going to want them going across like this. And we are going to want to get some staff doors in there so that uh, that is going to work as a storage area. So we'll go to a sign. We'll go to storage. And this whole thing is currently called storage 2. It is going to be renamed to mole 
uh, storage, whatever. So just giant mole storage. Uh, mole storage one. And then the other one will be mole storage two. So hopefully that'll do some, wait a minute. Don't I already have mole storage one? Yeah, I do. Um, let's rename it to large mole storage one. Can I do that? No, let's just do one L. So mole storage one large is uh, what that means. Then over here is going to be our first sort of large shop for the mole. It could come out a bit further, actually, since we have the entrances down here. And I kind of like the idea of doing that. So we'll go to walls and I think I could bring it out like this if I really wanted to. So we'll do that. We'll do that. And what is this? This could be another Rural Outfitters. That's definitely an option because Rural Outfitters has been relatively popular. It's frequently filling up with people. So let's go to objects. Let's go to double doors. Let's get one there and get one there. And we'll turn this into a new Rural Outfitters. So we are going to need some objects. We're going to need to get ourselves some checkout counters. And what I'm thinking with these is I actually want to try and steal a look that I've seen in the uh, the stress test. I think that could be a good idea. So I want that checkout there. Uh, then I want this one there. And I want this one there. Because that might work. Because that gives us three queues that are stacked kind of interestingly. Uh, I could put another one there if I really wanted to, which is certainly tempting. Um, I could totally invert this if I wanted to. I don't think I will, but I could. Uh, so three checkout counters there versus two will hopefully do some good stuff. We'll see how this goes. Then we need clothing racks. So I'm thinking, get me a bunch of them down this wall here. Just a load of them. Just so many clothing racks down that wall. Uh, I don't think we need that many, but we'll get a lot anyway. So we'll go for th a cluster of six there and a cluster of six there as well. Then we'll go for a gap of two and a cluster of four. And like that. So it's a cluster of eight in the middle. That's fine. This is possibly a little bit too big for a clothing store, but I'm curious to see if it ends up working. I'm uh, very, very curious indeed. So this place sells everything by the looks of it, which is totally fine by me. Uh, so this place is also going to sell pretty much everything. So we need some of the standard shelves. So let's get a couple of those in here like this, just done this way. And I do, I do hope this works out. I do hope that, you know, as our first new giant store. I do hope this place does some good stuff for us. Also, let's go ahead and assign it to actually be a, uh, a store. So store number four is the current name of it. Uh, I do realize I could very well go ahead and turn the checkout counters around. They could be like that. It doesn't give them their full queue size, but it's definitely an option. Although I, I kind of like the idea of moving them back a little bit too. I think that could be kind of interesting to um, have them towards the back of the store. It's certainly something we could try. So if I do that one, then that one, then if we go to remove walls and objects, get rid of that, that, and that, we can get a few more checkout counters in here. And I think I'd like them. I don't think I just want three. I think I would like as many as I can possibly get. So we need one there and there and there and we can get another one just there. So I feel a little bit better about that. I think that can be kind of interesting looking because then what we can do is we can, if we want to, throw in a couple more clothing racks over here. So just something a little bit like that to uh, maybe entice people to buy a couple more things. We'll see how it goes. We'll absolutely see how it goes. So let's manage this new store. We will assign it to Mole Storage 1L. And at this point, I'll go through and uh, assign all of this stuff to sell a bunch of teams. So what have we got? One, two, three. There's six different types of thing here. And we have one, two, three, four, five different 
areas. Although I sort of, well, is there a way I could split this up a little bit better? Um, no, I don't, I'll, I'll figure something out for this. Okie dokie, everything is arranged for store four to go ahead and open in the morning. We should see some stuff come into the storage area over here, which is absolutely beautiful. I'm realizing this space in here is probably gonna be taken up by a store at some point in the not too distant future, which makes me incredibly happy indeed. Gonna be looking forward to uh, getting some good stuff in there. Uh, I do realize it's gonna be a little bit tricky for stock clerks to fully stock this place, but I'm curious to see what happens with this. I want to I want to use this as a bit of an experiment. Now, what did we just do? Make, I think, is that a million total sales? Good lord, that's a lot of sales. Uh, so hopefully this new store is gonna do some good stuff for us. It should open today. And it should, by all means, be a relative success. Now, the stock clerks are due to come in at four in the morning. Also, something I want to um, have a look at here. Uh, this, this is a new feature. You're not making any research progress at the moment. Build an office and hire office workers to get things rolling. Now, this is something a couple of people have pointed out to me. The game has updated since I started playing. Apparently, there's rats in a, whatever build of it. I don't know if that's the case for mine. Um, I've, I don't know if that's even true, to be honest. I haven't paid attention to the game's updates. But I know that research at this point, you actually need people to do the research for you. So offices are actually a thing down here as we can see. So it's a new thing that was added. A place where office workers do administrative work, research, and marketing. Uh, I don't know. I mean, is marketing a thing we do? Not, doesn't really seem like it's a thing that we're in need of doing. We seem to be doing okay. Uh, so I don't know. I don't know if marketing is actually something we ever do. Uh, are we stocking this place? We are slowly stocking it. I think there's three or four stock clerks coming in. Uh, like I said, at four in the morning. They're definitely going to struggle to get this place stocked fully in time. Because uh, apparently there's only two of them. Apparently I thought two people was enough to get that place fully stocked. Uh, actually, no, I have more than that. Fair enough. I have three at this point, though. So let's get a couple more stock clerks here. You're all right. So you're going to start at uh, four in the morning as well. We'll go for you. You can also start at four in the morning. And we'll go for you. And you can also start, uh, actually you can start there at about eight in the morning. So we'll see how this goes. I mean, it's gonna be curious. It's gonna be interesting to, uh, to see how this shop actually performs considering half of the shelves aren't actually stocked at the moment. But I'm, I'm very curious. I want to, uh, I want to see some good stuff here from, uh, Store four, soon to be the new Rural Outfitters. I know a couple of people have been asking, why don't I just have two stores for clothing? I might, I might see how it goes. Uh, also, oh my God, so many people moving through the middle of the mall there just looks ridiculous. I do not envy my janitors whatsoever. They have a lot of work to be doing and uh, well, good luck to them for that, basically. Good luck to them. Oh, wow. Garbage is blocking the place up a little bit there. It might be worth turning this area into a little garbage spot. That might make a little bit more sense than uh, having garbage just consistently block up that space. Uh, let's go to build for a second and see what we can do. So if we go to road works and we go to road there, we can do garbage pickup there. And that'll hopefully be pretty good for us. I'm also aware that we actually have the money to go ahead and build some foundations up here to bring out this space a little bit. And I would like to do that, I think. I want to bring that out a bit so we can uh, get that shape of them all done. Back to road work, though. Get some garbage pickup there and get some garbage pickup there. And we can then remove the road work from that spot and also from that spot. And that will... Hopefully do some stuff for us. Hopefully that'll do some good work for us. Also worth noting, this store actually closes at midnight. So it's a bit, it's, it's very similar to uh, Rural Outfitters in that regard. Uh, so let's see what we can do. Let's go for a loading zone there. And 
And let's throw a couple more loading zones there and there as well. We'll do the same on this side, just so we can get more delivery vans coming and going. Uh, now let's see, this place is about half stocked. So hopefully we're going to see everyone come in at about 4 in the morning and get this place fully stocked up. Hopefully. I can certainly dream. Uh, now how much money are we sitting on? 196,000? Not bad. Interesting to see how quickly I managed to spend nearly a million there. That's a bit ridiculous. Still making good money though, so um... I guess we could go ahead and start looking into building another store in here. That would certainly be an option. I'm also strongly considering uh, objects, a staff door there and a staff door there. So it's a little bit easier for those guys to go back and forth between those two shops. That definitely doesn't seem like a bad idea. Uh, it might also be an idea to... It might also be an idea to leave a little gap down here for those workers to come and go, should they wish to do so. Uh, so if we go to walls and we go like this, this is going to be one new store. I don't know what that store is going to be, but it's going to be something. Uh, then I think this whole space here can be another new store. I think that'll be a pretty good idea. Uh, then this space here is also going to be another new store. And I think that'll be good. I think, I think that's going to leave us room for the workers to get in and out, which is obviously very important. Uh, I want to get a, I want to get a double door. Oh, I can't get a double door. Oh, I can't get one there. There we go. So a double door there and there. I want one there and there. And I want one there and there. And then what I want to do, I think, is staff doors in these spots so the workers can still come and go. I think it's going to be important to have a staff door there so uh, they can get into that particular shop. And also there and there as well. Then we'll go in to remove these two doors here. Because what that means is uh, my staff are going to have to go through the storage area to get to work, which honestly, I don't mind that much. I don't think that's much of a big deal. So we'll get that all built, and that's going to give me room for three new stores. And I think I will move the watering hole over to uh, one of these locations. I don't know which one yet, but we shall see. Uh, so I want a new wall in there and a wall in there. And that looks pretty good to me. These guys are going back and forth a little bit quicker. This store seems to be getting a decent number of customers. Which is all I can really ask for. It'll hopefully get busier and busier as time goes by. And I guess what I might do is try and clone this look over on this side. Because I, th I think having that giant storage area might do some good stuff for us. So, the entrances to the storage area are pretty much mirroring, mirroring the ones down here. Uh, this guy comes across to that point. Then is that where we leave our first gap? I don't remember. I don't really remember where we're leaving the gaps here, so we're gonna just have to uh, eyeball this a little bit. Let's go in with some objects. So that goes there and that goes there, and that marks where the gaps are. So, we go to walls and... Wait a minute, does that line up? Oh no, it doesn't. There is actually there's some weird stuff going on there with the uh, with the walls, but that's fine. So this comes up to that point, goes across, we leave a gap. This fills up that entire middle space, and we leave a gap. This goes to there and goes the whole way across, and then those two doors down here get removed. So that's totally okay by me. Let's go ahead and throw in a staff door, a staff door. Then it is a door on the right there, and then two on that one. So, staff door there, and then two staff doors there. And then I believe the entrances to all these shops were done like this, so that there's two entrances, or two exits, whatever way you'll happen to look at it, for all of the shops. So we'll get that all built, and 
then we're pretty much ready to get a whole bunch of shops up there, which is actually very exciting. I'm honestly so excited to uh, at least try and get some of my shops to work a little bit better. A lot of complaints coming in here from uh, pretty much everywhere. A couple of complaints about filthiness were in there as well. We can fix that eventually. I am going to need to get quite a few different uh, maintenance centers around the mall. I do think that's going to be really important to do. Also, I don't know if I, I don't know if I showed you this yet, but I put uh, Mobbles Maintenance just in there. There's a couple of janitors work in that space. Uh, also, interestingly, apparently, this guy here isn't in Mobbles. I didn't know that. That's that fixed. Uh, so yeah, we have Mobbles Maintenance there, which is keeping it a little bit cleaner. I also hired a bunch more maintenance people just around the place as well. Uh, between episodes, but uh, I didn't think it was the most interesting thing to talk about, really, so apparently I totally forgot to do it at all. Right, so this is already up here, which is great, but what I think I'll do is I'm going to move the watering hole. I think getting the watering hole moved somewhere is going to be a really good first move. So let's throw it just here. So we need to check out Counter. And I'm thinking I'm going to do something like something like that and something like that. Because I think that'll be kind of interesting. They're sort of opposite each other and hopefully that'll do some good stuff for us. Because we only have one checkout counter in here right now. So I do hope this works. Uh, what we can do as well is line this entire back wall. I think the watering hole was liquor, right? Like, that was the main product of uh, that particular store. So we can, uh, we can, we can line that back wall with liquor and, uh, again, just sort of hope for the best. Uh, now I'm leaving these gaps here intentionally so that the, uh, staff, the stock clerks can easily get around. That's going to be super important to do because if they can't easily get around, then we are going to run into some problems. So that is pretty much all going to be liquor. And that is hopefully going to do some amazing stuff. So let's assign this to be a store like so. Then store five is going to be assigned to mole storage one large. Right. Not bad. Now, here's a question. The watering hole is open from eight until midnight. That's totally fine. It is not making money. That's also totally fine because we're about to fix that. So, store five. Let's go ahead and say that you are going to be open from uh, eight until midnight, and we are going to get you some staff. So, you're pretty quick, so let's hire you to start at eight, and let's hire uh, you to start at eight as well. Then we'll get two more members of staff. We'll go for, let's see, you're not very sociable. You're pretty good. Uh, they will eventually get better at their jobs anyway, so I don't mind hiring people who aren't very good at them, because, like I said, eventually they will be better. I'm, uh, when people don't have good stats as a cashier, what I'm looking for is someone that might have either speed or patience, or preferably all three. You're pretty good at make, being a cashier, though, so you are going to start at four as well. So that should be fine. Right, now the stock clerks, we're going to go for... You have a bit of skill of being a stock clerk. I want you to come in at uh, four in the morning and I want you to come in at four in the morning as well. So that'll be fine. We'll get the two of them in there at four. Hopefully that should be enough to fully stock that place. Uh, you're very good at being a stock clerk. So you're going to come in at, uh, I'm going to say about 10 in the morning. Then you have a little bit of skill. So you can come in a little bit later at uh, around Let's say four in the afternoon. So you'll be working right up until the store closes. So that should be fine. Right. So now we need to go to beverages and say that all of this is going to be liquor. Every bit of it is going to be liquor except for like two of the shelves, which can be like wine or something. Uh, well, to be fair, we have beer as well. Maybe this should just be a beer shop. That's because we don't have one that does beer yet. So, let's just do mostly beer, and then we'll deal with changing up the watering hole later on. I feel like that's, I feel like it's a good idea to, uh, to go ahead and swap out for, for beer. 
I think focusing on things we don't currently have is going to be a good idea. So just a whole bunch of beer on these walls. And uh, we can throw in some other stuff as well. So we're going to have we're going to have a lot of beer. We are selling a lot of it in this mall, but that's fine. That's fine. So a bit more beer and this is going to be 23 units of beer being sold in the mall. Uh, so here we can sell, I guess, a bit of wine. And that'll be okay. And just on the other side, we will sell a bit of liquor as well. And it is primarily going to be selling beer, so that should be okay. Right. So store five is going to be ready to open soon enough. Let's go and put some floors in here since we don't have any currently. I think this place is going to be the little small tiles that we have. I think that looks all right. Uh, I do think this place over here is going to be very expensive to put some carpet in, but whatever. Uh, yeah, 20,000 exactly to do that. But I think it looks nice. Uh, let's do some sort of, can I just get some boring gray tiles in there? Yeah. I think I'm going to stick with the boring gray tiles in the staff zones. Because I can. Uh, so we'll get all that like so. And I'm curious to see how this place does. I want to see if we end up making some good cash from our new uh, beer store. Because we haven't had one of these before. And obviously the watering hole is still going to have issues. But we've, we've never had a place that just solely sells beer. Especially not to the tier 3 level. Which is something that is uh, apparently not demanded at all. So that could be a bit of an issue, but we'll see what happens. We'll see how that goes. These guys are doing a pretty good job of stocking those shelves. Which is wonderful to see, really. So people are going to be able to come in here first thing in the morning and get some product. Which is what we want them to do. It actually looks like those shelves might be fully stocked by the time it... No, they won't be. But that's okay. So there's the workers in. Anybody going to come and buy some beer? Anyone? So many people. Oh, there we go. Beautiful. Right. We have customers, and we have quite a few customers, actually. That's surprising. Good lord. Oh, I'm okay with this. Those queues are actually on the brink of filling up. Those queues are... full. Are you kidding me? How did this happen so quickly? Oh, I just put down a floor tile in there. I didn't want to do that. Uh, let's do that. There we go. So, objects, we need to get another checkout counter, apparently. Uh, so this one can go there, and it'll be a third one, and that's pretty much all we can really do. Uh, yeah, so we can get a third checkout counter in to store five, and what we'll do is get another cashier to come in. Uh, you have experience as a janitor. You're very quick at everything, though, so you are going to come in at eight in the morning. And you're pretty good too, so you can come in at uh, 4 in the afternoon. So yeah, hopefully this will help things a little bit. A couple of people getting angry in the queues there. That's obviously not ideal. I do wonder if our third cashier will come in today. I do kind of doubt it though, but it's good to see this place is actually busy. That makes me very happy. That really, really does make me very happy indeed. Uh, so those cashiers aren't leaving yet. We have not got a third one. Which is good. Uh, now one of them did leave. But this, this place looks like it's working a little bit better now with three cashiers. So I'm feeling pretty good about that. This place is working quite nicely as well. Oh, look at this. We got a third store over here, guys. We still made 31,000 yesterday. 31,000 seems to be the new constant. Even though we are technically losing money, is like we the, the the graph here has a bit of a a negative uh, negative trend to it. That's not exactly ideal, but I'm gonna be honest. I'm actually super pleased with uh, with what I've managed to do today. I think next time, what we're gonna go ahead and do is probably get a couple more janitors. Uh, I do think I will go ahead and start flashing out the rest of these stores over here in the next one as well so that we can uh, hopefully make a bit more money. Today's looking like it's going to be a good day. It was 35000 How much money are we making from these shops? So store 5 is minus 95% apparently. Store 4 is 71%. So next time we'll also rename those 
uh, stores and see how things go. But ladies and gentlemen, thank you, Kenneth, for watching. This has been another Brick in the Mall, part 18. And I'll see you next time. Bye-bye. Uh,